If you install Ubiquiti Unify cameras, you're really going to get a kick out of this. Now, as you can see, this monitor has a built-in camera. This is what we call a PVM monitor, which stands for Public View Monitors. And chances are you've seen these around at many different places. Now, PVM monitors are readily available on the market. But there's a problem that integrators face when buying these. And the problem is that often the camera that is built into the PVM may not integrate well with your recording software or your NVR that you're using. And for Unify installers, the problem is no different. Well, we solved that problem. The good news is that this PVM integrates perfectly with the Unify Protect software. And there's a big reason for that, because the camera that is being used in this PVM is an actual Unify camera. The camera that you see there is a Unify G5 Turret Ultra. And there's another unique thing about this monitor that makes it very useful. If I turn it around here, you're gonna see that the whole monitor is powered and managed through one ethernet cable. That's because just like all Monitor Master monitors, this monitor is PoE powered and everything is self-contained here in this case and right here. Now we don't sell any Unify equipment here, but we do sell the monitor and all the components for you to build this PVM. And I'll show you how I did this here in a second. Now this Unify PVM is just one of the many cool creations you can make with these special Monitor Master monitors. These Monitor Master monitors are a low voltage installer's dream monitor. Now this is a 27 inch 1080p version. However, we do have them in other sizes and resolutions as well, and our options are continually growing. I recommend that you subscribe to our channel so you can see all of the cool creations that we have, as well as all the new models that are coming out. Now I'd like to show you a few more features of these Monitor Master monitors, and I'll show you how I built this Unify PVM. This is a purpose-built monitor designed for the Ubiquiti Unify G5 Turret Ultra camera. The front of the camera sets flush with the front of the monitor for a sleek and intuitive design. It's built with a heavy duty metal frame and is designed for 24-7, 365 operation and includes a three year warranty. The entire setup is powered off of one PoE cable run and the monitor has a PoE pass-through output to power the camera with camera connections neatly tucked away inside the holder. The monitor is designed for commercial use and has a tamper-proof monitor control button cover along with an optional peel-and-stick IR receiver if you prefer to use a remote control. There are two 5-watt speakers for clear and audible sound. An internal HDMI cable connects directly to the viewport which is mounted inside the unit. Additional secondary video inputs are also available. The power connection acts as a 12 volt DC output to give you the option to power things like lights, sirens, and other accessories. Please note that we do not sell the Unify camera or provide support for any Ubiquiti products. We simply supply the monitor and the hardware needed to convert your Unify camera into a public view monitor. To complete this setup, you'll need to purchase the following from an authorized Ubiquiti dealer. Number one, Unify G5 Turret Ultra. Number two, Unify Protect Viewport. You should also be familiar with setting up and supporting these two components. Our package does, of course, include our Monitor Masters customizable commercial grade monitor. It includes the PoE module, which makes the monitor PoE powered. It includes the PoE expander, which helps power the Unify camera and viewport. It includes the custom built G5 Turret Ultra camera holder and it includes all the accessories and hardware to properly connect all these devices together. Let's take a look how to get all this set up. First, remove the back case cover from the monitor. Remove one of the included DIN rails and connect it to the PoE module. Position it inside the monitor and align it with the screw holes that are on the back of the monitor. Go ahead and screw it down. Now take the monitor's DC leads and connect it to the PoE module's DC terminals. Make sure red goes into positive and black goes into negative. Locate the Ethernet extension cables that come included with the monitor and plug them into the Ethernet connector board. Push them in snugly, but if you have to force them, that probably means that the pins aren't aligned properly. Get the PoE expander and screw on the included standoffs on opposite corners as shown. Line up the standoff slots with some screw holes on the back of the monitor. 
The universal fit of the standoff set and the various screw hole locations gives you options on which location to install the expander. Tighten all the screws down. Plug the Ethernet extension cable that is coming from the PoE in location on the monitor into the PoE in on the PoE module. Plug the other Ethernet extension cable into PoE1 on the PoE expander. Get the included Ethernet patch cable and plug it into the PoE out on the PoE module and plug the other end of the cable into the PoE in on the PoE expander. Get the other included patch cable and plug it into PoE2 on the PoE expander. You're almost done installing the monitor components. Everything you've seen so far can be pre-installed by us for a small fee, or you can do it yourself to save some money. However, the remaining components shown in this video must be installed by you either way. Using the included double-sided tape, secure your viewport down to an open space. Plug the Ethernet cable into the PoE connection on the viewport. Plug the internal HDMI cable into the viewport. Put the case cover back on and secure it down. Now grab the G5 Turret Ultra. Remove the rubber tape. Unscrew the four screws. Remove the ring and pull out the eyeball. Get the included camera holder and remove the top two silver screws. Remove the top two black screws as well. Remove the bottom black screw. Pull out the eyeball holder piece. On the back of the eyeball camera, you'll notice two screws. Go ahead and remove them. The top pointer indicator should be lined up with the top of the eyeball holder. Push the cable through the hole and the slot and line up the screw holes. Secure it back down with the two screws. Put the eyeball holder back into the camera holder. Secure it with the two silver screws. Grab the third included patch cable and plug it into the camera connection. Hide away the connections inside the camera holder and reinstall the back plate. Looking pretty good so far. Grab the included L bracket and the two screws. Secure it to the camera holder. On the very bottom of the monitor, remove the far right screw and the far left screw.
Line up the L bracket with the holes and screw it back down. Plug the patch cable into the right side ethernet connection. That completes the assembly. Now all you need to do is apply PoE power to the monitor and you're ready to rock. Here is the complete wiring diagram for your review. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you find this useful for some of your Unify camera installs. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching.